Hey guys and welcome back. Today we are creating this painted acrylic welcome sign featuring three colors that represent each of the bridesmaids dresses. But before we get into that, I would love to introduce you to the brand new Creative Fabrica fans page. This is a brand new platform for them and they have invited me as a creator. So on my page, I will be sharing exclusive wedding designs and SVGs, a rotating list of my Creative Fabrica favorites for wedding signs, opportunities to vote on YouTube tutorials, and shout outs in my YouTube videos. So if you're interested in that, I will make sure to leave the link down below in the video description, along with all of the fonts and supplies that I am using today. So today I am working with a piece of acrylic. It is 18 by 24 inches at an eighth inch thick. Um, I did go ahead and drill the two holes into it because this will be hanging on one of my coffer stands. Um, I do have a tutorial on how to drill the holes and how to make the copper stands that I will link down below. So I have my acrylic sheet on top of my large Cricut mat and it's actually the exact same size of my Cricut mat so I can easily align and center these decals. Then I am using the hinging method to apply. So now that my decals are applied and I have peeled off my transfer tape, I am going to flip it over and get ready for the painting portion. So I think it looks really nice just with the clear acrylic and the white lettering, but um, it's so easy to add some colors to it. And this couple wanted the three different bridesmaids colors. So we have a metallic rose gold and then more of like a darker kind of berry. I'm actually using the boysenberry that I used on the color matching tutorial a few months ago. Um, and then the third color is more of a true like purple plum. Um, so I color match those as much as possible. And then what I'm going to do, because once I apply the paint to the acrylic, it does seem to lighten up quite a bit. So I am adding a little bit of black paint just to darken each one of those. I did go ahead and add some more of the purple into the rose gold just to get it more of a similar color to the darker two. So for the um, brushed painted signs, I really like using a chip brush. This one is a two and a half inch. And the reason I like this chip brush is because the bristles are just super coarse. So you get the super texturized brush look um, versus if I was to use like a brush that was made for acrylic paints, um, it might just go on there completely solid. So I definitely like using the chip brush for this and whenever I am mixing different colors in. 
So I am doing a little demo piece on a scrap piece of acrylic. This is to just ensure that the color is right, that I am applying it to the acrylic and I kind of like the thickness of the brush and all that good stuff. Just as a little test and I do recommend doing this before you move on to your big piece of acrylic that you have already applied your decals to um, just to save on time and money and so you do not have to redo anything. So before I start painting, and um, this is actually a good idea before you apply the decals as well, taking a little duster to the acrylic sheet just to make sure that it is super clean because acrylics do attract dust and particles in the air. This is just something that I have on hand that I can grab super quickly to give it a quick dusting. So I'm starting with the lightest color, that metallic rose gold, and I am just lightly brushing it on, like just with the lightest hand. I barely have a little bit of paint on the brush. As you can see, like it's not a solid look whatsoever. So I personally like starting with just a little bit and then adding more and more because you can build the paint on these. But just keep in mind, once you put it on there, like it's on there, um, it's hard to get off. And I don't remove paints from acrylics or anything. There are paint strippers for that, but it just takes so much elbow grease and the stripper is not cheap either. And then after all that, you still end up with like this cloudy, scratchy piece of acrylic. So if you do absolutely mess up, I do recommend just starting over with a new piece of acrylic. The sheets from my local plastic store are not that expensive. They're cheaper than what you'll get in Home Depot and Lowe's and better quality. Um, so definitely make sure to check out your local plastic stores. So once the first layer is on, I let that completely dry, which really doesn't take that long because the paint is so thin, but I want that to completely dry so I have that contrast in between the colors. If I put my second layer on with the first layer wet still, then I'm just going to be blending those colors together and it's going to look like one. So I am letting each layer dry in between each coating and pretty much with the second layer, just doing the exact same thing I did with the first with a really light hand, just kind of adding it where I think looks good and checking my work along the way. And moving on to the last and final color, I am using the darkest one for the very back of it. And I'm also using a little bit of a heavier hand and more paint just to kind of get more of a solid coat on that. Um, one thing I would like to do too with the each layer is kind of bring it out on the sides more just so it is kind of creating like that depth and definition um, on the sign. So just adding more paint to the back so it has more of a solid look and bringing the edges out just a little bit. I give it one last look just to make sure it is all fine, just to make sure I don't have to redo it. 
um, and I thought it turned out awesome. This was a little bit of a more challenging uh, sign just because we were trying to color match the three colors and blend it to where it looked nice but still showed the three colors. I think it turned out great. Let me know what you guys think and what project that you are working on down below in the comment section and I will see you soon.